place. It's a great day to get out and visit the Dallas Zoo if you're still making weekend plans. I know one of my favorites is the elephants. The big animals have lots of fans and yeah, okay, they leave behind, shall we say, a big problem. Tons of waste was once hauled to the landfill every week. Then came zoo poo. Our Jeff Ray explains why it should be on every gardener's wish list. When Dallas Zoo visitors see an elephant, they gaze upon the world's largest land animal. But for Donnie Schubert, the zoo's environmental director, he sees the world's largest food processor. And the main reason Donnie was hip deep in a bad recycling number. Well, five years ago, we were looking at our, our diversion rate, and it was a miserable 4%. That's because tons of herbivore animal waste was being scooped off the ground and carted off to the landfill. He was in it deep, this poo problem. The big solution, ironically, the smallest of life forms, bacteria. A large volume of herbivore waste is now going to a composter rather than going to the landfill. Bacteria breaks down the manure and with time and temperature turns tons of elephant poo into something green. High protein, nutrient rich product that will grow great plants. The waste service company built a custom compactor. This container is hauled away three times a week. Over 21 tons is sent here each week to Silver Creek Materials in Fort Worth. It comes here and it immediately starts composting. Composting is going to happen whether we want it to or not. This is a big pile of opportunity. So Instead of making methane in a landfill, it's turning elephant poo yeah, into compost the for compost the yard. Process. But getting there is a grind, a really big industrial size grind. Anytime you can have a smaller particle, more microbial activity can happen on that particle and it'll compost faster. The finer the grind, the quicker to market. But like fine wine, it takes time. A great compost product in the bag has been composting here at our facility anywhere between nine months and a year. So from the end of something very big, trillions of the very small bacteria turn a pile of that into small bags of this, zoo poo. Now that's some good old fashioned fertilizer. Jeff Ray, CBS 11 News.